So two days ago, Split Fiction came out, and I know a lot of y'all e-daters want to play, but one of you have a potato PC. Worry not, in this guide we will focus on fixing that issue so you can play the game and keep enjoying the e-dating lifestyle. Let's get onto the desktop. Now what we're going to do is optimize our windows for gaming, so this will work on any game. You want to open your file explorer, scroll down until you see this PC or my computer or whatever you named your PC. Right click, properties, advanced system settings and here on the performance tab in advanced you're going to click on settings again and these are the settings you should copy. After that we're going to tweak our power saving option. This is needed especially if you're on a PC or a gaming laptop and you prioritize your performance over battery life. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little search button and type in edit power. Edit power plan should pop up. You want to Click there. We're gonna put it to the middle and click on power options. So go one step back. And right here, by the default, it is going to be on balance, which means your PC isn't going to use all the performance to save battery life. But since you're on a PC, you don't even have a battery to begin with. So make sure to choose high performance or AMD Ryzen high performance if you have a Ryzen CPU. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and go into the settings. It should be pinned in your start window. However, if it's not, just type in settings in the search bar and we're gonna go ahead and click on game game bar and make sure it is off we're gonna go ahead and check our windows update make sure you're up to date if you're not sure click on check for updates wait for that to be done always make sure you're up to date so you do not lag in games because most of the times windows update is fully automatic we're gonna make sure our microsoft apps are up to date as well click on the search bar again and type in microsoft store it should pop up open it right there we're gonna click on downloads here and make sure everything is up to date i have minecraft updates so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so that doesn't happen in the background. Next up, updating GPU drivers as well as control panel settings. Now I do have an NVIDIA GPU so I'm going to show you the process of updating NVIDIA's drivers which is super easy. Either way, this step is important so make sure to follow it closely. For NVIDIA users like me, we're gonna go ahead and go into a system tray, right click on NVIDIA settings and open the NVIDIA app. If you do not have NVIDIA app, it was called the GeForce Experience I believe. The way to get it is just Simply type in the Google NVIDIA app. It's going to be the first thing that pops up. All you want to do is pretty much just download now. It is super easy and simple to use. Once you're in the NVIDIA app, all you want to do is click on drivers and download. As simple as that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to be downloading. I'll see you guys once it's done. It is currently done. All we want to do is click on install. We're going to go ahead and choose custom installation. Make sure all of this is checked. And I'd suggest performing clean installation every once in a while. And for AMD, well, you guys can see I definitely do not own an AMD GPU, thank god, but the process is still the same. I believe their driver software is named AMD Adrenaline, and it's pretty much you just download it. Usually if you have an AMD GPU, you'll have it installed already, but if you do not, the link to their page will be in the description of this video. It will also detect your graphics card in case you don't know which one you have, and that way you'll get your latest drivers. And once we've installed our drivers, finally we can change our graphics card settings to support our goal of reaching the most FPS possible. Alright, so what you want to do is, um, I, once again, it's for NVIDIA, right click on your desktop, show more options if you have Windows 11, and you'll see this NVIDIA control panel right here. Once it's open, you want to be on manage 3D settings button here if you're not. And once you're here, all you want to do is click down and make sure our management mode is on prefer max maximum performance. Next up you're gonna scroll down and make sure to turn off VSync off because it's uh yeah texture filtering quality i have this on performance this is fully up to you as you can see in the description down here it will tell you what it does i'm not gonna read this to make this video longer and then you guys are gonna hate and then yeah so i have it on performance it is up to you there are a few options you can go with high performance high quality quality by the default it's going to be on quality but we want performance so performance once that's done you're gonna have a little button here apply i do not have because these are my uh settings oh now i do because i changed something on an accident i'm gonna cancel you're gonna click on apply and that's about it with the gpu settings it is kind of important so make sure to uh follow this step as well next up a small little tip what you want to do is open your task manager like i'm going to do right now and make sure to see which apps um, take most of your resources and if you do not need them turn them off as you can see like during gaming i mean as you can see here we have oprah gx taking amazing amounts of 
RAM and that's not good. Um, same with Vegas and obviously you don't want to have that on while you're playing games. So one easy way you can sort things to see what's taking a lot of your memory is if you click on memory you will see what's taking a lot of your uh, RAM memory. Same goes with CPU, same goes with disk like SSD or HDD. It's for all, so make sure to keep that in mind while you're playing games. If you do not have a lot of FPS, if the game stutters, this would be a great thing to keep in mind on. Alrighty, so now that we are finally in the game, we're going to tweak the in-game settings. And this is the last step, and it is going to help you out a lot, so stay for this. What you're going to do is click on options right here. After that, we're going to go into the graphics. And first things first, make sure window mode is on full screen. We can select 1080p, that's totally alright. Apply display settings, uh, keep display settings. Now anti-aliasing, make sure this is none. The resolution scale, the thing with this is the more you decrease it, the blurrier the image will be, but you will get a smoother game and smoother FPS. So for the best experience, I'd say go to 90. If you want that balance between a smooth game and decent visual fidelity. However, the more you go down, the worse the game will look like way worse so minimum i'd suggest go with 80 but for now we're gonna keep that at 100 we're gonna scroll down make sure v-sync is off frame rate go with unlocked texture quality obviously medium or low shadow on low detail level low as well effects quality low shader quality low as well and the shop filtering off post-processing quality low and we're going to click on back and that should be that. I don't know if you guys noticed there's some green lines during the in-game portion of the video. I think my GPU is hella frying and I'm loving it. At least I can save on my heating bill. And that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're posting Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays and sometimes a little bit more. So see you guys in the next video. Woo!